Hello, everybody. I'm calling this video the Spilivia Spectacular. <laughs> Woo! That was a terrible name. Before we start, I would love for Daniel to share with everyone his cereal recipe. That's Yo. not even cereal, it's granola. That's a nature well bar. It's not granola. Oh, it's a nature valley <laughs> bar. It's a nature valley bar. bar. It's like the almond butter crisp. Okay, Grams start at the protein. beginning because they need to know every part of this. Got a trolley. A uh, what, sorry? Trolley. <laughs> Shopping cart. <laughs> you can tell I'm on hiatus because I'm my words are mixing up. There's not a recipe to cereal. What are you talking about? Uh, there shouldn't be, but in your case, but there's a way to do it. That's cereal. okay because I heat up my milk. Don't I say that like it's no I big like thing. I like to heat up my milk. Not only does he heat it up, but like that was in the microwave for like three minutes. It's a, it's that is on fire. Full on soup. I don't understand cold cereal. It's disgusting. First of all, you put the milk in the bowl first, which is already chaotic. Then you warm it up for 25 minutes. <laughs> Like an hour, approximately. And then you put not even cereal. It's cereal. Show the people. That's not. That's not When's the last time you've nice. had cold cereal? Maybe six, seven years old. So how do you know that you don't like it since it's been that long? Bro. Moving on. Let's move on. Let's move along swiftly. A lot of people <laughs> wanted people to eat as we did this Q and A. So you're welcome. I have some passion sauce in, in the cupboard. Okay. You, you good? <laughs> So I asked a bunch of questions on my Instagram. These are gonna be a combination of like the moments from this season that people loved that we can react to. And then a <laughs> lot of Spilivia questions. Some of y'all are getting Daniel and Sam confused with Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> Four very different people. People are heated that we're not together. It's a TV show, boo boo. People are very happy that Spencer and Olivia are finally one. Also, I should say, if you have not seen season three, do not watch this video because it's going to be chock full of spoilers. By the time this goes up, season one, two, and three will be on Netflix. Binge it and then come back and get all the good, good questions answered from your three favorite people sitting on a couch eating I'm hot cereal. So That's a good title. Um, thanks. It's going to be the name of my podcast. Do you guys want to start with the Bolivia questions? No, let's work up to that. Let's work up to that? Okay. <laughs> let's keep the people in suspense. I need some time to get my brain going. I have the questions on my phone. If you want to be a part of the next Q&A, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put everyone's handles here. Daniel um, posts, I'd say about once a year, so if you're lucky, <laughs> you'll get some good content. Oh, here, okay, let's start at the beginning. <laughs> It's gonna be a long day. Okay, I'm getting like a contact high from your hot seat. <laughs> it's thrown off my whole game. How was it filming during the pandemic? <laughs> to be honest, it was it was amazing to watch the crew because they were basically working with like one arm tied behind their back. Seeing them like set up shots and this group's gotta move and this and they couldn't like because usually they work together. Yeah. And everyone's right. like, like, I right, come here, you did it. And so having them split up, it was tough. Like, you could tell it was tough for them, but they got some amazing stuff. They're amazing. But that was really inspiring. Too. Also, for context, like, we had to wear masks and shields while we were at work, but typically we are not working all day, every single day, like our crew is. So, right. yeah, just... 14 hours in those masks, man. It's not Jesus. fun. Jesus, it's, it's exhausting. It's not fun. It's so... getting tested four times a week, too. Also, even on office. Oh, yeah, some people were saying if we ever got used to the test. We didn't have, like, the full nasal swab where they go all the way into your brain. Into yeah, your thankfully we wouldn't have made so, it. So, like, uh, it sort of becomes part of your routine, I guess. Was it my favorite thing to do? No, but it was nice to know that I was COVID free. Yeah, at least you didn't have to worry about because you always knew you were negative. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Thanks, guys. I mean, it's like, must we be nice. always knew. <laughs> I got COVID. Brett and, and I, Brett and I always knew we were negative. Yes. So yeah. that that was good because you didn't have to worry about it. So because you like, you, there's no way you could not not know because it was like four times a week. And more sometimes because if you had an intimate scene, you had to get tested. Yeah. Also, so if you kissed, if you hugged, hugged like I feel like if we were just like in they a did scene, like yes. they did an extra test before the um, before we filmed. Yeah. So we by the time. Spreads and Olivia got together. We were getting tested out the ass, bro. It was definitely the hardest season for for me by far. I think for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was definitely hard to also just take care of your mental health too. Mm -hmm. I mean, this season was well for me. There were like a couple heavy episodes, but I don't know how a it was couple. for her. This whole <laughs> no, season. Was yeah, heavy. I know yeah. you're you're correct when you say that. But like <laughs> long days, and you were crying or upset in every scene. Yeah, in my brain, like I was not mentally prepared for that because I had just we just spent eight months. Yeah. Sitting on our asses, and then it was like cold turkey, right back to work. But we did it. I'm not proud of us. You killed it. Good job, girl. Thanks, girl. Me yeah. Too. Next question. <laughs> um. Okay. What was your reaction after you finished reading the Vegas episode? We didn't have read-throughs this year like yeah. we did traditionally. So we, we tried at the beginning, but they were failed miserably. It was yeah. <laughs> 
Wi-Fi <laughs> RIP. No, my Wi-Fi was good during those table reads. <laughs> yeah, we did them over Zoom. We never did them in person. It's just, it's different when you're like in the room together and reacting yeah. to things or yeah. like... It's when you're bringing it to life, you realize like me and your scenes, you can't realize how awkward those scenes no. are until you're filming. That was brutal. All those that scenes, was... some people were asking what some of the hardest scenes to film this year. It was hard yeah. to do the scenes where, because we all knew what had happened in Vegas because we shot that episode pretty early on. I think it was like our but second or third episode we shot. So we knew what happened in Vegas and then we went back to the beginning of the season. So knowing everything that happens and then having to film scenes where Layla so desperately is craving your approval and you're just dodging her was really tough. And it was just hard to like keep a straight face. We literally could barely get through the scenes because we were both just like, oh, this is the worst. It's got to be, I agree. There was some difficult scenes to get through just because they were so funny and mm -hmm. so awkward. Actually, I think if I had to pick the hardest, it was probably when Spencer refuses to go with Olivia to her parents. That was intense. That was one of the only scenes where me, Sam and I didn't speak before we shot it. We didn't and Sam speak. And Sam and I were usually always like goofing around, we're play fighting, we're whatever, yeah. Well, yeah. and we just kind of stayed in our zones and we was like a mess after that. Yeah. And that was painful. And I didn't know that you had broken down because after this, like at the end of the scene, I leave. And so I don't see you when you're in your house by yeah. yourself having a moment. And then I, or well, you told me after yeah, yeah. I watched it and I was like, oh my gosh, poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite scene to film for this episode? Episode? Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're not, it's not our best day. Our we're brains gonna are not at full capacity right now. What was the question? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not using it. Let's try this again. I don't think I answered the last question. I don't think you did. When we did the hangout, I told you Sam doesn't answer questions. She'll say, oh, that's a great question, and then move on. Are you ready for it, Sam? Yeah. What was your favorite scene or episode from this season? Mm -hmm. My favorite scene? Mm -hmm. You look like you're summoning spirit. I have no idea. Can someone else go first? Wife, I knew it. Thing? See? <laughs> I'll say my favorite episode, the cabin episode. I think because we were like all together. Yes, We were all I together agree. for so long, like two weeks or something. And yeah. we started before the holiday, and yeah. then we, like, we finished it after we came back from the holiday break. And it's just nice, because I feel like, especially this year, we didn't get like big scenes where we were all together. We weren't doing parties because of Corona. Yeah. And that was like a nice little moment for us to also like have fun. Like we were like having the water gun fight, and we had like some really fun, cute scenes with our friendship, which was kind of light and airy. And then you and I had some nice scenes too. Okay. There was like tension built up there, but it was just, it was a nice, it was a nice relaxing episode. It was also just like such a good juicy episode, and the back lot is so pretty. Like where we shot I is on the Warner Brothers lot, cabin. and it's so pretty and cute. You know, my favorite episode, honestly, was I think it was, was it fifteen, the night out one. Oh when oh you, oh! You guys watching the movie? And and, and the moms and are the moms together. Moms. Oh yeah, they get drunk. Oh my god, Denise. <laughs> that so was. Funny. That was actually yeah, they that killed was a that. really good episode. Yeah, that was, yeah. Um, Wait, let me go back to the the worst. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> the worst scene for me filming was the dance and the. <gasps> We're gonna pilot. get to that. <laughs> <laughs> Reaction to the Beverly Crenshaw fight. Oh, I loved it. That actually might have been the most fun scene to film. Did you do like stunt training before? Yeah, we practiced, we rehearsed. Yeah, we practiced the moves mm -hmm. and then we just, we just, I think they blocked out hours because of safety. Yeah. So we just like really carefully, we shot it just moment by moment. It that was really good. That was just the camera, mm -hmm. that was Nikhil in the camera department. They killed it. That was probably my favorite, but most fun scene to film. That was my last day. That was my, one of the last things I shot. Oh, it's really? Oh, yeah, let's do this. Let's yeah. say what our last scene was that we filmed. The Just fight and then get yelled at by coach. <laughs> Oh my god, you're kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a season wrap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anytime Tay yells at you, he just goes, yeah. And then just like goes off on yeah. you. Congratulations, you lost. And it was like, cut, season wrap on <laughs> <laughs> Um, My last episode was Friendsgiving. My last scene was the scene where Layla and Carrie are sitting down to watch Heathers together right after Olivia comes and wants to talk to Layla and Carrie's like, no, 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 she's sleeping. I was the very last scene of the very last day. Which I feel like has happened to you. That happened oh, last that. season too. That's right? so when, fun. Because then the crew's all together and then NK came and made a speech. She made a nice little speech and it just felt like a nice wrap to what was a very hectic season. What was the scene that, um, you don't remember? Oh God, it was the end of the conversation where she's calling me right before my game to say that she told you that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was her last yeah, one. that was my last oh, one. one. It was super easy. I read, and they I, I read the scripts. I read the scripts too. I have ADHD and memory loss. And you should see a doctor. I <laughs> am, I'm in therapy. <laughs> We're gonna go oh, okay, to okay, Olivia okay. Are you guys ready? No. This is the official Spolivia Spectacular portion. Spolivia Spectacular. Oh yeah. Daniel, come on, join in. No. All right. 
<laughs> Lucky girl, that Olivia. <laughs> Are Olivia and Spencer endgame? Like, what do we think? What do you think? What do you think? I say if it's not Spolivia, it's like some someone new. Someone new who comes in and just takes you by surprise and they don't really flesh it out. It's just kind of like a new beginning for Spencer after the show ends. That's my vote. Just but because- Do you think it will be that or do you think it will be Olivia? I would hope that it's Spolivia. Like even the fans are like, damn, it took three seasons and 50 episodes and we finally Which made it. genius by the way. Like that's the perfect slow burn. Yeah. I think that's how you really build relationships. If yeah, that, that like everyone's that instant one. satisfaction and it's if like, that happened in season it wouldn't have, one, you wouldn't carry it. I think it was, it was definitely pent up for a reason and it worked. Um, what was your favorite Spolivia scene to film? Like I want to choose a happy moment, like I want to choose the what homecoming, like the prom. What happy <laughs> I liked the, the home the pilot just because we had lighter scenes, that we were able to cute. enjoy each other's company and there was like tension built up because we were both excited about like finally having some room to just be with each other. And yes, the homecoming pilot, that was dance. the most but yeah. my favorite scene is probably the first episode of season three, the very last scene of the episode. First episode of season three. Can we, you wait. just say the scene? Why are you like, why is this a riddle? It's a guessing game. So it's when uh, I've just told coach that my arm isn't healed mm -hmm. and you come in, we've had dinner and then I, it kind of kicks up the whole thing. I say, we're not gonna talk about what Oh, happens. and I hug you. Yeah, and I realized, cause in the script it just says, Spencer holds on for like a few moments longer. And we did it a few times, we just hugged tight. But then the take they used was the take where I realized I was like, oh, Oh, Spencer feels safe with Olivia. Like it clicked what they're awesome. doing. <laughs> when I realized Spencer doesn't give a shit about Layla. I realized the whole, the whole time I was thinking, I, I was, I, I had, it had a clip for me what was so special about the connection, and yeah. I was like, Olivia's the only one that can make Spencer relax. It's getting worse. <laughs> I See you guys later. Uh, <laughs> and I realized that in that scene, and that's where that hug came from. That's right. where it, like yeah. it's like it's the first time in that episode that he relaxes, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh shit, that's what their relationship is. She like makes him feel safe. Really let's, move, let's move it along. It's <laughs> <laughs> Bolivia's dream first date as an official couple. What do you think that would look like? She'd probably take it to a protest or something. I feel like you would have to like go all out. Spencer would need to just do something like really extravagant. Like even if it's in the backyard, you set up like candles. Ooh, did that for Lila. And, <laughs> and they yeah. cut that scene actually. But it was very yeah. cute. Like, he we did. shot that a scene, yeah, one. we shot a scene where Spencer. That was last season. No, that was season, season one, one in the Baker, or not Baker, in the, the James, James backyard. backyard. It was, yeah. yeah. No, well, maybe that. not that then. Yikes. Um, someone asked, do you think they rushed their relationship? I absolutely do not think. Not at all. It took three, three seasons. Years. Three no. seasons and 50 episodes, apparently. I no. think it was actually like a really good amount of time. It really built up the fan base. It really had people rooting for you guys. You built like a solid friendship before you had the relationship. Yeah, their really I think good. their foundation is their friendship. This this whole like romantic part is actually new. Yeah, because a lot of people are adjusting to it. Like most people are, well, most people I think are Spolivia, but there's also that, that group from like season one where it's like, ah, really only see them as family like but I think they've still they've still got ways to go before they fully like embrace being like a romantic couple it's new which it's is fresh. fair yeah <clears throat> why do you think the fans love them so much part of it is good writing like I obviously the, I yeah the if there's I like they, an yeah. underdog i think couple, and then paced it so well gave you a little bit and then took it away and then gave you a little bit yeah like naturally away. people i think yeah. they're gonna want that and then i think yeah. it's like the chemistry i think it's the history does layla truly approve i don't think she ever said she approved i think she's just chosen to like not engage at this time well layla just needs to prioritize <laughs> herself like you've yeah. been through enough i also don't know that like they need her approval really or that she needs to approve i think everyone just needs to no, I agree. take I think time they, oh, i think they need exactly take time and then like yeah they needed to tell her but yeah. i don't think they need her approval I think no, no. i also don't think she like owes approval or understanding especially no. not at this time not at all. so i guess no she doesn't but i also feel like she's trying to just like focus on her own thing mm -hmm. and they're just trying to be not as yeah, a couple. You guys That's a what I mean. I think they were miserable as a couple. I think no. they, they get, for two 17 year olds, one in the midst of a depression and the other getting over the death of his father. I think it they, was just not a great I think they, time. they did the best they could. Because That's don't forget, nice the at. day they slept together, Sean died. Oh, wow. And that was like, really? they, that was what? the day they decided to be a couple. It was like two days after. Sean died, then Spencer yes. played the championship, and then Layla came around. Oh, my around. God. That's intense. And Honestly, that's, that's a lot. A lot of. <laughs> Traumas. And that's probably what bonded them, but I think it's also what ultimately 
I feel like, and this is this is definitely not a spoiler. They haven't even written season four yet. In my mind, I think if they had met brand new in college, it would be different. It would oh, be different. way different. They 100%. Would have, they would I think you guys would have worked for a, while, for a yeah, long time. For sure. Yeah. Because I do yeah. think they're a good couple. They were just in the midst of some dark stuff. Taking a little break from Spolidia. Someone asked, are you team Jamone or team Demone? Jamone. Jamon, who's Jamon? Damon and Simone. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I would say Jamon, just cause. Justice for Jordan. Justice for Jordan. But also, Jordan and Layla are gonna get together. Also, not a spoiler. We yeah, actually, it's not we, a spoiler. we physically we can't give you any spoilers. Not they, know they, they, we they, don't know. They haven't written it yet. Yeah, so we, we don't know. know. <laughs> just based off of how the season has played out and where potentially that relationship could go, I think you guys will start talking more. Damn, we'll have to wait and see. I'm genuinely also excited to find yeah. out if that's what's gonna happen. On their day of the wedding, she had cold feet and they were already married. This new hot guy comes in. Maybe not. She's going to a new school. There's gonna be drama there for sure. And I'm here for it. Back to this, someone's favorite moment was Simone and Olivia's fashion show performance. Oh, I see. So we're circling back. <laughs> Someone asked us to react to it. Literally, no. Hey. Have you not seen it? I've seen Daniel. it. Daniel! I didn't throw it on the TV. Do not. You can just do it on my phone. <laughs> what? Okay, I just have to say, separate from the episode where my character relapsed, that was probably like the second part. Of, yeah, a little less of this, a little more reacting. Here we go. Lovely. Such a good job. It looked so good. That was so lovely. Sexy. What I will say is I'm I'm happy with how it came out because I was dreading seeing it because I was not having a good day that day. Our call times were five, so most of us woke up at four, worked all day. By the time we got to that scene, it was like maybe nine, almost 10 at night. We had an hour before we had to be wrapped. You started that at nine or 10? Yeah. We're at my the working since they four were asked a few times. <laughs> and some, cause I was like, I get a banana or something. I just, <laughs> she was like, I didn't <laughs> eat. Literally seconds before I went on stage, <laughs> got my period. I had no energy. I had no water in my system. I was exhausted. I I had like four hours of sleep the night before because they had to rush us out, so they only did like four takes. Why? They only they, had the location for a certain amount of time? For a certain amount of time, and there were like technical difficulties. Oh my god. Literally amazing. That was the toughest. That and was... all you had to do was sit there. They shot them first. They shot the audience first, wrapped them, and then they shot us last. Oh my god, that was a rough day. God. Why was Olivia so apprehensive about her and Spencer's relationship? She wants to reconcile her relationship with Layla. Mm -hmm. She's also worried about Asher because it wasn't that long ago that she broke up with him. But she also yeah. wanted to pursue like Spencer and go after what she wanted. And so it's just a tricky thing. She don't want to hurt anybody else in the process. But in doing that, it's like, girl, make a decision. We're either going to do this, we're going to get through it together, or just you need time, let me know. And where is he at? Because he's not. Spencer doesn't give a yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem like Spencer he's really worried about woman. anyone's feelings. <laughs> um, who does God. Layla hate more, Olivia or Spencer? Shit. I don't know if hate is the right word. I think she's very hurt by both of them. And I think there was probably hate in the beginning, but I don't think that's really where she's at right now. I think she's probably really, really hurt. And it's like a different kind of betrayal from both people. Like being betrayed by your best friend and being betrayed by your boyfriend are like two very different emotions. So I don't know if there's like, I don't know if you can quantify it. I don't think she's like super happy with either of them, but she's more committed, I think, to rebuilding her relationship with uh, Olivia than she is with really ever speaking to Spencer again. But it is a TV show, so I'm sure we'll be friends at some point. I'm sure we'll work through it. How do you think the events between Spencer and Jordan in the finale will affect I actually think the longest one that's gonna, the one that's gonna be the hardest to heal is Spencer and Coach. Jordan and Spencer follow all the time, and and yeah. they are brothers. And they're young and yes, too. that's their brothers, yeah. and I think that's just what they do. I yeah. think they're brothers, they're athletes, they yeah. want the same thing, you know. So I think they're always gonna, there's gonna be things that butt heads. And Coach Baker genuinely is like hurt. This is like the first time the first he's time felt that way about yeah. too, They've disagreed, right? they've argued, but it's the first time where he was like, oh, I can't trust Spencer. For the time being, like, that's a pretty big betrayal. Yeah, like, that's literally for 
for some juicy TV. Juicy content. How do you personally feel about Spolivia? I like I think it's cute. I think they're good Yeah, I think, it's, I think they're cute. I personally like seeing relationships blossom from friendships. Yeah. There's just something unique and special about that bond. At least Olivia's first like real love. Like, she loved Asher, but she was in love with Spencer. You think she was in love with Spencer the whole time she was with Asher? 100%. She loved Asher. She cares about Asher, but she's in love with Spencer. See, I don't think Spencer realized he was in love until Vegas. I think he realized at the wedding in that moment. It's the first time he starts seeing as a friend. The eye him. contact in those scenes. Yeah. Has the cast been wanting Spolivia to get together too, or was it just the fans? You're almost too close to the show to really want anything. anything. Yeah. We just um, we just excited to see what happens. Exactly. Yeah. I don't think the cast was like I hope. I don't think the cast is hopes for anything. No, they, necessarily we just to get happen. we just get excited, excited to see what happens next. Yeah. But right. we don't really. Um, we we figure it out as the yeah. fans figure it out. Yeah. Sometimes the fans know more than us. Sometimes <laughs> I'm like how. If you were in Layla's situation, would you forgive Olivia and Spencer? Yes. Yes. But it would. I would take some time for myself. I'd be like, this is just too much. Yeah. I would. I'd say Spencer, I forgive you. Yeah. I understand what your heart was. You just, you know, you're a sweet, handsome chocolate man, and I think you should. I don't think she'd say all that. No. Um, I don't know that she'd say any of that to be honest. <laughs> but um, not even close. <laughs> It's the, quite the opposite. It's quite the opposite. Actually. Eventually, yes. Again, I don't think it's like a necessity immediately, but yeah. I think also to hold on to that is probably hurting her more than it is them. But again, it's also not just like some random girl came along and like you cheated or whatever, which is also yeah. just as bad, but it's like, this has been a built up thing and you were honest about that from the beginning. And like we were together for a long time. Like it's yeah. just, that's an unsettling feeling. And then I yeah. imagine like, especially when it's a friend, you probably think back and you're like, what are all the times that we hung out? Right, you go through that all the memories and blah, 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 and you just feel stupid. They're teenagers. Everything God. is just such high stakes, yeah. but also it really isn't. You don't realize it's not until it's Yeah, great. that's what I mean. Like now well, I yeah. look back at those events and think every breakup, every lost basketball game, it was the world was in there. Every lost. Every lost basketball, basketball game. <laughs> Any final thoughts, guys, before we sign off? Oh, this is the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, and do okay. you want to do something else? No, I just, I hadn't, you know. Should we make a TikTok? Daniel? Excuse me. <laughs> Unbelievable. You see what we have to work with? Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoy season three. Thank you to everyone for tuning on CW. Thank you to everyone who binges it on Netflix. By the time this is up, all three seasons will be on Netflix. Oh my gosh. That's kind of crazy. I know it's crazy. That's like really crazy thing about it. Thank you to the old fans, new fans, Netflix yes, fans, all CW of you fans. Guys. It's so fun. So proud of the show. And we are really Love it. You guys make it fun. Thank yeah. you. We filmed a video on Daniel's channel a while ago that I will link. We filmed another Q&A video. Oh, we did the pop yeah. yeah. That's it. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks, Thanks guys. We love you. Bye. <laughs> I can't reach. Can you turn it on? <laughs> oh. no, my legs are stuck. Oh, like I'm so oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs>